On behalf of the Nashville Stars, welcome to Skip's Corner. I've been fortunate to meet people from all over that have a baseball connection, and one of my favorites is Clinton Butch McCord. Butch was born in Nashville, and he always felt like Jackie Robinson did more for the black community than anyone. And he often told stories, especially to children, to let them know the influence that Robinson had on their lives. Butch was born in Nashville. He played football at Tennessee State University. Back then, it was Tech Tennessee A&I. And they didn't have a baseball team, but he was so good at all sports, some of his coaches encouraged him to play baseball. And he signed with the Nashville Cubs and later played with the Nashville Black Balls and ultimately with the Baltimore Elite Giants in 1948 and 1949. In 1950, he played for the Chicago American Giants. And then in 1951, he joined what is known as organized ball with Paris, the Paris Lakers in Illinois, where he hit 362 and led the league. In 1952, he played again for Paris, where he hit an astounding 392. He was 42 points ahead of the second place person in batting averages. And one of his teammates there was Nashvilleian Jim Zapp. He ended up playing in the minor leagues for other teams, Denver, Richmond, Columbus, Louisville, Macon, Georgia, St. Paul, Minnesota, and also finished his career in Victoria, Texas. In 11 seasons, he had a nice 306 batting average. He won two silver gloves as the best first baseman in all of minor league baseball. And when asked who he thought were the best Negro League players, he listed five. One was Satchel Page, and Butch took great delight in telling that as a 16-year-old, he had a triple off of Page at Sulphurdale. Number two was Josh Gibson. Number three was Buck Leonard, who was known as the Black Lou Gehrig. And Lou Gehrig was actually Butch's favorite player, and he tried to emulate his batting style. Number four was Oscar Charleston, and number five was Willie Mays. Five pretty good ones to look up to. I miss Butch. We were old timers together, and on Saturday mornings during the baseball season, he would call and say, did you listen to the game last night when the Nashville Sounds were out of town? And I would say yes or no, and either way, you're going to get a rundown of how the game went. He was a great fan, was a Nashville Sounds season ticket holder until he passed away. Butch McCord, another one of those great treasures. I miss him, and I'll think about him often.